Alrighty guys, welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are doing a Phoenix Suns trading Devin Booker rebuild. So basically, um, but to one specific team too, we're trading to the New York Knicks because I, you know, created a community post about if you guys want to see a Devin Booker Knicks rebuild and majority of you guys said yes. So today we're doing a Devin Booker Knicks rebuild until the next team gets eliminated so we can do another offseason rebuild. So I saw a report that came out, I think it was a while ago, that the that the Knicks would be willing to trade anything to get Devin Booker pay with Dylan Brunson. Now, I don't know if that's true, but I'm going off that report. And yeah, so let me show you guys the trade that I was thinking about that can make some sense for Devin Booker to go to New York. So here is the trade I was looking at if the Knicks want to go all in for a star in Devin Booker. The trade I was think makes some sense. I don't know if you guys might disagree with this. So basically, the trade was the Knicks get their guy in Devin Booker, obviously, right? And they pair him with Jalen Brunson. We're not trading um, Julius Randle in this trade, so it can make some sense as well. But in return, we're getting Josh Hart. We all know how stud of a role player he is, man. Or stud of a player. You just say, I don't know if he's a role player at this point. I think he's a borderline. I'm not going to say borderline all-star. But I'm going to say a very, very elite role player. One of the best role players in the league. We're also getting Mitchell Robinson as like a center we can, you know, uh, prioritize in the future, which they might be willing to trade him as well, uh, making $14 million, obviously. Kind of injury prone as well. And then we're also getting Don to DiVincenzo. And then um, we're getting their 2024 first round pick. And this year, we're getting that really, really valuable Pistons pick that the Knicks have in 2025. We're also getting a protected 2028 first round pick. So you could argue that this. Might be too much to get a guy like Booker. You can argue that the Knicks might not be willing to treat Hart, Robinson, and DiVincenzo for Devin Booker as well as some first-round picks as well. But I think it makes sense, man. I think it makes a lot of sense, actually. The Knicks can, you know, re-sign OG on Anobi. They can roll with Isaiah Hart and sign Randall, Jalen Brunson. They also have Devin Booker. I feel like this makes their team better, in my opinion. I know Devin Booker is the best defensively next to Brunson, but... I, I that report said that they'd be willing to trade almost anything to get Devin Booker playoff Brunson. So I'm actually gonna go and do this trade here. We get a bunch of depth, which I feel like the Suns would need, and first round picks. So I feel like this trade makes some sense for both sides as well. So they're gonna decline it. But we're obviously gonna override it. It really doesn't matter too much. So we got Devin Booker out of here. He is now with the New York Knicks. So now we can reset with like the guys that we have now. Um, we can move, so we don't have a starting point guard. Now that Devin Booker is gone, that's one of the problems. So it should be a very fun video, but let me move some things around. So I'm thinking about probably moving like Bradley Beal to point guard, even though he does go down to overall, but we might have to at the moment. But we'll probably figure this out later. Isaiah Thomas is probably not going to be that starting point guard. We got Dante DiVincenzo now, and we have a first round pick in the draft in the Knicks. So now. We have 22, 24, 5, and 28, which I think I'll use all of these picks to go ahead and draft here. So Frank Vogel, um, by the time I'm recording this video, I'm looking right now, he has not been fired. So for now, I feel like we keep him for one more year and then probably just let him go next year because he's already on a one-year deal. In my opinion, I just don't think it makes sense to fire him after one season. And, and he's on a one-year deal, so I feel like they should just wait it out. There's not that many good head coaches right now. So I feel like they should just keep him for another year then let him go. There'll be a bunch of good head coaches next year. So we'll do that. Adela's hop straight into the draft. You only make sure draft class is loaded. Yes, it is. Let's hop straight in the draft with our – we have a bunch of picks, like I said. So pick 24. Oh, we got Cart. We got um, Carrington, so you say the name. We got Proctor. We got – so there's not many – much good guys left on the board so we could take okay so we could take um cart carton cart cart i don't know they can take him or Tardy's proctor i'm not gonna lie i haven't took this guy in a video and i don't know i don't think i ever took him for so 15 points per game three bounds this efficiency is pretty bad though Tardy's project averaging 14 two rebounds 11 assists the efficiency is better but yeah, I'm kind of leaning towards Carlton or, you know, Tari's Proctor. And not going to lie, I feel like we take, I mean, this guy, I mean, I mean, you said he's the best player left in the draft. He can be point guard of the future. So if we go ahead and take Carlton here, I mean, to be honest, he seems like the best could, could take Proctor. I'm um, 6'5", but Carlton's a little bigger. 
Um, I know not the best, not not that much bigger. I mean, their weight isn't really that separate apart. Or we can just take one of these guys, but I'm gonna go and take Carlton here. I haven't took him ever, so Carlton, welcome to Phoenix. Still take Tyrese Proctor though. We can take back to back point guards. I mean, we do need point a point guard. Don't get me wrong. Most thing we need out of everything, in my opinion. So I think we go out and we do we take the two point guards. We take um. Take Carlton and Proctor. Do we take Riley? Do we take Bobby Clintman? We have two other second round picks, so I think we wait. I'm not going to take Proctor. I'm going to go with Bobby Clintman probably. So give me Bobby Clintman. And then if DJ Wagner is still here, we could take him as well. Um, what other pick do we have again? Let me you see. So we have, okay, five. So that DJ Wagner will be here. We can take Isaac. I know he's pretty good as well. Uh, I'm going to take DJ Wagner. Him and, you know, Carlton would be a point guard duel for the future. Okay, DJ, if DJ Weiner is still there, that would be great. Which I don't think he will. Yeah, he went to the Temple Wolves unexpected. So it's fine. We can take a point guard. Here we're going to, yeah, she can take Grant and also we can take Gar. Also, I know he's not really that good, but I'll take um, Jar if you have his name, whatever. So can I send him to a two-way? No, I cannot. But I am going to take, um, but I'm going to draft Carlton, Bobby Clint. Man, no, not the best overalls, but it'll be fine. Actually... We have too many players, so I'm going to have to not sign Gar, I guess. Actually, we'll have too many players. If so, we're, I don't know what we have to do. We have to trade somebody? I think we might have to trade. Do we trade? Okay, we might have to trade somebody. So, Beal, we, why do we, why does it say we have too many players? I don't understand. I mean, I guess if you look at it this way, you have too many players. I have to trade this shit a little. I mean, I'm not going to bring my Josh Kogi, so does that mean I can just, really, okay, I don't know how, why that's a thing. But can we sign all of them now? We sign all. Okay, there we go. All right. Damn play options. They got Eric Gordon, Drew Banks, Damian Lee, and then David Roddy. I am going to accept. Don't know what that was. The qualifying offer, Saban Lee, Doug has a bookie. I'll extend him. Um, for agency, we have five million to spend. It's H. Wayne Rice only free. So, all right. We got um, we got Carlton. We got Bradley Beal, DiVincenzo. We got David Roddy, Mr. Little. We got Kevin Durant, Josh Hart. We got Yusuf Nurkic and Mitch Robinson. So after trading Beal, it makes our depth a little bit bigger. Also, have a little bit more. Um, you know, we also have that Pistons pick, which could be really valuable. So do we tank this year, or do we be good? Um, the Pistons, they okay. So how, how are they looking? I feel like this pick all depends on how good the Pistons are. We own their pick. Um, yeah, I mean, Grayson Allen, I'm pretty sure he's already under contract, so I'll, you know, sign him to a contract similar than that. So I'll sign him, and then I'll sign him to his, you know, his normal contract in real life. So I'll bring back Grayson now because he's already under contract, and I'll sign him to the contract that he's already under in real life. So we have too many players. We don't. I thought we did from what 2K was talking about, but nah, all right. We have to move some things around here. So, um... I don't want to start Carlton right away. Like, I really don't. So, I am going to move Beal to point guard. I'm going to start Devin Chen. So, that's what I'm going to do. So, Bradley Beal, it might not be the best. Um, How much assists does he average? Five. It, it could work for at least this season. Or we could just trade him. But I don't really see teams want to take on Bradley Beal right now. Yeah, there's nothing really realistic. I mean, the Nets, we all know they're a desperate team. So, maybe they could want Bradley Beal. They give me, like, Ben Simmons, I guess, and then Dennis Schroeder for Beal. Probably not going to get a first-round pick for him, though. But at that point, I just don't really see how they want to take on a big client. Even though the Nets are desperate, they probably will be. I'm, I'm just going to stay away from that idea, in my opinion, bro. And then we can trade him, like, in the offseason or at the deadlines. So that'll probably be it, right? Not much we really need to do. Allen will start. We can sign it back up, too, if we need to. But I don't really know if we really need. We can bring in Gary Harris. Which I'll do that. So Gary Harris, I'll sign him. Get two year deal. Nobody else will be dying over to bring back. But yeah, I mean that'll be it. There's not much we could have done in that off season but trade Devin Booker. Play progression. We got Katie and Beal going down as well as Josh Green. Um, Josh Hart, which sucks. Um, David Roddy is going up. Gary Harris going down. So this year we probably won't be good. I expect this to be like a plan team, and then next year, next off season is gonna be man. Like we might trade Kevin Durant. We might even trade Bradley Beal. I'm pretty sure KD would not like to be with the team if we don't win again. That's just his personality. But if the draft class loads, I'll see you guys in the rotation. So your rotation heading into the season is Bradley Beal, Don Chiefin, Chanto, Grayson Allen, Kevin Durant, Yusuf Nurkic, Josh Hart, Mitch Robinson, David Roddy, Gary Harrison, Sue Little. So eight and nine spots, pretty bad. I kind of like part of me wants to play Car um, Carrington like immediately. 
and like Bobby Clipman over guys like Roddy and Harris, which I might actually do to be honest. But you know, I don't, I don't know. Do, do we or do we have some to the G League? Um, playing a lot of forwards, so I think it makes us to send Clipman down to the G League first. Now, should we send Isaac down there or should we send Carrington down there? I'm not gonna lie, Carrington might play immediately, so I'm gonna play him over Gary Harris this year. I'm gonna run on rotation plan over Gary Harris, have this guard instead of Gary Harris, and then we send Isaac down there, two of our forwards down to the G. We should be good after that. I will see you guys at the end of the season. If we do trade Beal, we'll see. This is your MVP, but something great to just happen, bro. Frank Vogel literally just got at fire when I was simulating, and it sucked, bro. If I would have started this video, he can like 30 minutes later. I I would have like I would have known, but nah, it just had to happen right, right as soon as I'm recording this video of all days, huh? Of all days. So Frank Vogel, I can't resign him. Like I cannot resign you, Vogel. If I can. But I mean, it is giving me the option to fire him. I can, no, we're not going to fire him literally in the play. You can't even do that, right? I'm pretty sure you cannot fire. It's saying we can get one. That's the real crazy part. I, I think, okay, so definitely, I think Mike Boonholder is going to be the next head coach of the Sun. I feel like it makes too much sense for it to not be. But we're the number, let's start thinking about this, how we're the number one seed after training Devin Booker. He was holding us back. He was the problem. We were really the number one seed, um, which is crazy. We had 24 from the leading score, 22 from Kevin Durant, 14 from DiVincenzo, 12 from Grayson Allen, 12 and 10 from Nurkic. So depth really helped us out. This is what would happen probably if the Suns had depth like this. Um, Carrington also averaged nine points per game, which is great in his rookie year. So, man, oh, man, are we going to be having a playoff run for ourselves? So, um, they're running eight in our two heading into the playoffs. And all I would love to play Carrington, though, for the reason he's not playing. But he is a rookie. No, I feel like we play him in the playoffs, right? We play Carrington in the playoffs. It makes too much sense not to. Um, but we should have ran. That's fine. All right, we got the Lakers. So D'Lo, Reeves, Hachimura, LeBron. They relatively got the exact same team. Um, but we are going to go ahead and go down to one. We're going to even it up. They're going to take the 3-2 lead. And we are going to go to a game seven with the Los Angeles Lakers. So I don't think we take Carrington averaging 11 points per game, 50% from three in the playoffs. Let's do it, man. Game 7 versus the Lakers. I'm kind of surprised we're going to war with this team, though. Um, I didn't mean to do that. But they're relatively the exact same team. And we're down. We're, but we're not going to take the lead back. It's a really close game heading into the fourth. But hopefully we can blow them out. And we are going to be able to blow them out. 31-104. to 104. We got four, almost 40 points from Beal, which is crazy. Thinking about that now. 34-24 um, from KD. 20 from DiVincenzo. Now we got Oklahoma City in round. So this would, if we beat this team and won the championship, they add an OG on an OB to the team, which they always do, which I hate that. But does OG make them a, a legitimate? Yeah, I, th I think it does. So I don't know if they beat us, though. Uh, but game one, we're going to take game two, they even it up. Game three, they take the 2-1 lead. They take the 3-1 lead, and that's how the story goes, how the script goes all the time. The Thunder beat us, but not going to lie, that gives me hope, man. And not going to lie, dude. That um that Pistons pick at the deadline was like five four star value. So Timberwolves do go on win the championship though. Um, shout out to Anthony Edwards, one of my favorite players. But player Thomas LeBron officially hanging it up, which I'll let him do. But that Suns pick value was absolutely that Pistons pick from the Knicks was actually really valuable. Right now the Knicks rejected pick two somehow. Um, Amanda Fufu would have took both of their 2024 first round picks. But we're going to be rejected pick three in the draft because the Pistons were absolutely terrible, which is great. And we are going to land with the, um, where do we go? Do we fall? We fell at six. Damn. That sucks. So, obviously the pick has not much value now, but we cannot bring back Frank Vogel, right? No, no way. He just literally just got fired while I'm recording this. I wish Mike Bullenholzer was actually a coach here. That would be cool. But all right, we got Michael Stauffer. Obviously, he's not real. He's like he works for Two K. I'm pretty sure though. Jacob Underwood. Honestly, getting Joe Mazzulla. Hopefully, I mean we're Phoenix. We're not L A. I was about to say, but I mean uh, hopefully some coaches love to coach this team. We'll see. Vogel, obviously not. He literally just got fired. I'll offer Taylor Jenkins, and I will also offer Will Hardy a contract. So. Not gonna lie, at the end of the day, I think we all know it's gonna be Will Hardy, but you know, we'll we'll, we'll keep looking. We'll offer most of the guys a contract. I don't want to offer um Kevin Ollie, but you know, um, all right, those are all the head coaches. Which one do you guys want to come? 
Monty, I mean, Monty Williams got fired, bro. Obviously, it'll be on the to bring him back to Phoenix, but we'll see who signs is going to be well, as, as expected. We could have got Taylor Jenkins, though, but he didn't want to coach it, which is weird. Um, but, all right, we got our new head of coach. We got Will Hardy to lead this team to a championship in the future, hopefully. So now we got pick six in the draft, and I think it makes sense to the draft here, right? Get Trey Johnson or one of those guys. So, or we could necessarily use them because we are in contention mode, though. But I just feel like it makes sense to use the – yeah, it definitely makes sense to use this pick. Um, none of the next thing they drafted. So, Cooper – Dylan Harper goes in one. So, Flag is going to the Rockets. Three, Ace Bailey – um, we got Trey Johnson. I would have loved to get Cooper Flag if the pick would have been higher. Um, if we didn't fall to six, which if we would have got number one, dude, that would have been crazy. VJ Edgecombe is here. Carter Bryant is here. Jaleel Bethea. Um, Ian Jackson turned into a stud all the time, dude. So we might have to take him. But do we even need a guard for being – actually, yeah, we do need a guard. We need a guard pretty bad. We need a bit of everything instead of probably a center. But we, we need a bit of everything. Um, other than power forward and center, we're good. So, Edgecomb, I like, but he might actually be the selection here. Ian Jackson, I know he's good as well, 25, 5, and 5 in college. Sick Edgecomb, um, I, I mean, I you can't go wrong with Ian Jackson, right? I haven't took him, so give me Ian Jackson with that pick. For sure, we'll take that. And then he ends up being a 76, Edgecomb, I mean, a 77. So, you couldn't really go wrong with either selection. Edgecomb is a little bit higher. Um, Rod, I'm going to accept Isaac. Welcome back to the team, you two. No qualifying offers, free agency. It would be huge if we had money, but obviously we're still, we still got KD and Booker on, I mean, KD and Beal. So imagine dumping these guys, we'd have like a hundred million in cap space, dude. But I am, even though Beal was really good for us this year, that was all, that was all part of the plan. The plan was to get his value up, which I knew he would do since he was, since he was taken over for Devin Booker's role. We, we should be able to get a first-round pick in return with Drake. So, Derrick Jones, obviously, eight offers is his contract, though. And, of course, I mean, the Rockets want him, Jock Land. We can get Isaiah Cole here for him. Spurs wouldn't want to do this, though, right? The Rockets have available cap space. So, um, actually, they need to re-sign Jalen Green. So, I don't see this being really realistic at all, especially when giving me the Brooklyn Nets pick, dude. But I think we try and bet our own trade for Bradley Bill. I mentioned how the Nets would be a pretty desperate team, and actually, I think this makes some sense here. We get Dorian Anthony Smith as like a wing that we can rely on. We also get our two first round picks back in return. So the Nets, like I said, desperate team. Other teams I was looking at didn't really make too much sense for them, but this team does. The Nets, um, they have no room at this point, obviously, so um, to, to suck because obviously their picks. I mean, that they open up in like 2027, all the way down there, but. Let's say we get our picks back. Dorian Finney Smith and Ooh, they're not interested, so they know what I'm doing, huh? I'll throw a second round pick and they agree. So a second got it done. So now we got our first round pick back. First round picks back. So we got two of them and DFS, which is great. So we can move Dorian Finney Smith to Power Force like that. Or it can just move or it can just move Josh Green or somebody to small forward. Let's see. So Kevin Durant goes up to a ninety seven. So I I think we move him there, right? Up to a ninety seven. So we'll do that. Grace now will come off the bench. We'll have Roddy, Little. We have a lot of forwards. That's the only thing that probably isn't the best about this. Um, Josh has six four. Doesn't really make my deal power forward, but he don't, he's a really good rebounder. So I'm gonna I'm gonna move KD back to the four, and I'm gonna move Hart to the three. Go to an eighty four. So I love that for me. And then we have a lot of small forwards. So um, KD DFS we have. All right, so I'm, I'm kind of like what we built so far. Carrington is going to be a starting point guard, or Carrington's point guard for the future. Um, and then, do we have too many players on our team? We, okay, we have 14. So after that, I don't, yeah, we didn't really open up much money. But Evan Durant, if a team is willing to take him on, or not even take him on, if we can get a, like, a star, which I don't know if we can. So Maxi, Porzingis, and Derek White. Obviously, getting Derek White at starting shooting guard would be absolutely amazing for this team. But I would even and him really did it kind of similar. You could argue that he might be um, Eric White might be better, but I'm, I'm not going to do that. It's kind of unrealistic. Wouldn't see why the Celtics would do that. So okay, I mean, uh, we they are getting. No, I'm not going to do it. All right, uh, Bam Dillingham. Um, looking at Bam out of bio, it's like a starter. Terrible that he get him. So Paul Van Carroll. Obviously, I'm going to be all over this, but that's just not realistic. Okay, so we can get MPJ and Aaron Gordon, which I mean, I mean, I would love MPJ 
for okay, okay, we can get Zion Williamson, dude. You want to really get Zion and Jordan Hawkins? At least Dylan from the Pelicans. Like, there is a lot of interest, but this Zion, you just can't back down from this, in my opinion. But getting Zion Williamson on this team for the future. All right, so right, if we did it, trade the Nuggets. So they could be a little more real. I mean, I don't know if we they trade both of them though. It probably will be one and some picks, but they can't even. They'll have to trade both. They'll have to be MPJ and Gordon. So with MPJ. They wouldn't really, I mean, Gordon would, but I don't really see where MPJ would really play for us. That I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to do it. We have heart anyway. But Zion, we okay, can get um, Ace Bailey and Isaiah Collier, two young guys. But this trade just seems absolutely insane. We trade the Suns pick again. We get Zion Williamson and Jordan Hawkins once again. The Pelicans... Wouldn't see why they want to do this, but Zion had, let's say, maybe he requests us a trade. Which I don't think he will show 25 or the Paul can just want to trade because they're offering him to me. So that's the only way I can see this being somewhat realistic. Um, where we get Zion, they get Jordan Hawkins, and then we get a 2028 first round pick. Um, I mean, the more that I thought about it, the more that I think we should stay away from it, man. I, I, I just don't see this being real, real realistic, dude. So I'm, I'm just going to not do the trade, but. I'm going to sign a point guard, though, um, on day 12, because I don't really see anybody here. Um, We have that trade exception from Beal as well. So let's say we renounce that. We would have cap space. I'm pretty sure we would if we renounce that trade exemption. There's no really guys that I see, like, for Yeah, I don't really see any guys out here. Being Trey Murphy in Phoenix seems like a dream scenario, in my opinion, though, even though you wouldn't really feel like I like Trey Murphy would be great. Don't get me wrong. He could play the four... Finney Smith will probably go down. That's the thing. But for now, I'm, not, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave this season. this season. Katie doesn't make sense to soon to still be here. The Pelicans still offer me that. Yes, they are. You can get Devin Booker back, but I mean, Bam and Hero now being offered to me. Do like these offers? Are, no, I think we I think we yes may make a trade right now. We trade. I feel like we trade Katie before he progresses down. We can't do any trades. I'm doing the trade. I'm getting Zion Williamson. I don't care anymore. I'm doing the trade. I'm I'm doing this, but we're getting Zion Williamson. Zion Williamson, welcome to Phoenix. I have no clue how I feel about this yet, though. I just feel like we had to trade KD before anything, bro. But uh, Zion, welcome to the team. Welcome to Phoenix, buddy. Wow. All right, now we can sign a point guard. We get Ty Tyus Jones would be huge right now. To be honest. So do we get rid of that trade exception? I think it's going to be useful for the future. I would love to get Ben Simmons. Actually, we get him on like five million. Dang, he would have been close to get really, really good addition. Um, Noel, Bruce Brown, like okay, not gonna lie, I don't really see a point guard of that. We're just gonna have to go to affordables again. It's not like Jose Alvarado, which sucks. Chris Paul, bring him in on day twelve. Um, Scottie Pippen Jr. Um, no, I'm, I'm just going to sign Richardson. Or, can we sign Jade Hardy or, like, Davion Mitchell? We get Davion Mitchell, bro? Nah, I'm not going to do that. Killian Hayes, um, I, I am going to, or Monte Morris. Can we, hold on, I'm going to bring out Monte Morris for the minimum. That seems kind of, okay, I'm going to do that. So, Monte Morris, welcome to the team of the minimum. Zion Williamson, we got a new era in Phoenix now. We got Josh Hart going up, Devin Chento going up, got Nurkic going up, you got Mitch Robinson, Grayson Allen, Jordan Hawkins, and Carrington going up, or yeah, Carlton or whatever. Carrington going up. We got um or Carrington. I got I have to remember to say Carrington. So we got little Finney Smith, Gary Harris, Clintman, and Isaac. We have to cut somebody. I don't know how it's gonna be I don't know who it's gonna be actually. Um I mean, I guess it'll be Gary Harris, right? Unless the team, team has cap space left and they want to take him on. Um, so any team has cap space, you want to take him Gary Harris. I mean, the Pacers do for a second. Sure, I'll do that. We get a second round pick out to the books. All right. What do you guys feel about the Kevin Durant trade? I don't know, bro. I really don't know. If we can sign it, we can go in the 2026 draft class. The Kevin Durant trade. We trade Zion and get Jordan Hawkins. So we trade a first. Not, now, now it like, makes a little bit more sense. You can argue that KD wants to watch out, even though they were just the first. I don't know, bro. But how do you guys feel about that trade? We got um, on my show, I don't want to play Monte Morris. I don't want to start him. Obviously, I'm gonna start Carrington instead. We'll put a no trade clause on um Carrington, and then we have a new era here in Phoenix, bro. 
All right, I mean, yeah, Carrington, you and Chen. So, I mean, this whole this whole rebuild has been, you know, not you know realistic anyway. So, I mean, I guess you can argue. All right, so Carrington, you and Chen, so Hart, Zion, Nurkic, um, Mitchell Robinson, Grayson Allen, Jordan Hawkins, and then Monte Morris it leaves Ian Jackson off the rotation, which sucks badly. I don't. I want to play Ian Jackson right away. Like I really do, but this rotation seems too good to mess up right now. Ian Jackson, I'm sorry, but I'm sending it to the G League, and then I'll see you guys at the end of the season. All right, so at the end of the season, we finished off as the, I think, number one seed again. Carrington was your most improved player, averaging about 19 points per game, six assists, 37 percent for three. He was the selection, obviously. Thank goodness I took him, though. Uh, we were the second seed, actually. Of course, the Thunder were number one. Zion actually had his MVP season, almost, averaging 32 points per game. Um, so yeah, he ended up being good as well. So Carrington with almost 20, um, obviously th Jordan Hawkins averaged 13, 12 and a half. So Ian Jackson, I don't know how he played two minutes, but he averaged 12 and a half. Maybe, maybe I should have played him actually. Um, even Chenzo at 12, 11 from Nurkic, 10 from Grayson Allen, 10, um, nine and 10 uh, off the bench from or starting from Josh Hart, I forgot. Um, seven, eight and a half from Robinson, seven from Monte Morris, but we were really good, which is great. So I also want to get a better center next offseason if we don't want the championship, obviously, though. But we got Denver. So it's Murray, Strother, MPJ, Gordon. Obviously, we could have sent KD to them. We could have got Gordon and MPJ. But we're going to lose in five, which sucks pretty bad. All right, so in the draft lottery, we actually have a second round pick, which won't matter. So I, so how do we make how do we improve this team? And I think that means getting a better center, though, even though Nurkic and Robinson is for for Asian. Um, I don't know. Are we gonna is often we're gonna have cap space. I oh, yeah, trust me. I'm, I guess as good as yours though. But the you know the assistant GM could do all that important stuff. But um, let's go. Ricky signing. We actually signed Jeremiah Fred. We couldn't sign him to a two way. You know, we have Jordan Hawkins. We're gonna accept Carrington Clitman. Um, golfing offers Roddy Isaac. I mean, they didn't have to, but all of a sudden. So do we have all? Um, I have to sign a center. We have twenty two million, even though. Do need to maybe resign Robinson as well. We have their burger rights, so that should help out a lot. Roddy and then Dorian Three Smith, I'm probably not going to bring back. They don't really play with us that much, but Nurkic are probably going to let go. Robinson, I'm going to bring back. We can sign a center. So, got Chet Holmgren, probably not going to be able to sign him. Kessler would be amazing, but no, I don't have enough money to do that, Sally. One thing we could do is we could dump off this year a little. Which I will do. Um, dump him off to a team. It doesn't matter too much. Sacramento Kings, second round pick. They want him. Yeah, you guys got this. Oh, that opens up seven million dollars. All right. Now we have enough money for like Walker Kessler. We're close. We can offer it, but they'll probably match it. So that's the only reason why I'm not going to do it. But the centers aren't really that good in this class. The only real, really good one that I would love this on is Walker Kessler. But sadly, they aren't going to match it. But I'll offer it just in case. Yeah, we will see if they'll match it. Actually, saying we can sign him, have to renounce Robinson as well. I don't want to announce Mitchell Robinson, so. Um, let's say we get rid of Monte Morris and Gary Harris. Um, Robinson was soft to be renounced. That sucks. Um, can we let, I, I really don't want to, I want to have a, um, our, you know, I, mean, I don't want to dump, like, Hawkins or Ian Jackson or DiVincenzo or Kessler. I mean, uh, they, they might even match this now that I look at it, dude. They probably will. And yeah, they <laughs> They matched it as, as expected. So, Mark Williams, Nick Claxton. I guess Claxton would be an up would be kind of an upgrade over what we have right now. Even though, um, I mean, we we could really use these guys in a trade to get a center, or we can sign a trade both of them to get some guys. But there are some center options that I really like. Not gonna lie. So, I mean, we'll look at both options: Grease and Allen, and a first round pick to maybe get Bam on a bio. They're going to the clowns just fair. Bam is off worth a lot more than that. Offer two of them. I mean, is he worth three? Like, probably, right? Offer two seconds. Okay. He's probably worth three first, which, you know, nah, I will do it. And then they're still going to decline to do a second round pick to. Wow, they're probably not going to trade Bam and about me, which, of course, they're not. I'll trade Bobby Clinton as well. I thought they were going to say yes, but. Nah, looks like we can't get Bam. We're gonna go ahead and see if I can get Walker Kessler. I'm offering Nurkic in a first round pick. They're gonna decline. I'll offer two of those. They're sort of decline it. I'll offer a second. I'll offer Bobby Clint. Man, there you go. Yay, Kessler. So Kessler will start this year. Resign Robinson. We should be good.
I'm also going to go and sign like a PJ Washington off the bench. And after that, man, I think we're ready to go start a championship. I'll see you guys in the rotation. Hawkins, Steven Chenzo, Hart, Zion, Walker, Kessler, Robinson. Um, we got Carrington, Ian Jackson, Grayson Allen, and that is your rotation. Let's get about we're missing. Oh, Washington is out, but um, it'll be it'll be fine. I'll see you guys at the end of the rotation. I mean, end of the season. So at the end of the season, we finished off as the number two seed. We got Denver, which Murray, Strother, and PJ Gordon, Jokic, so the normal Nuggets team. We're going to go ahead and beat them in five to play the Spurs with Collier, Wimby, Ace Bailey, and Jalen Dern off the bench. Got a scary team, but we're going to beat them five to play Oklahoma City. So SGA, Edgecombe, OG, Ludor, and Chet. We're going to go ahead and lose in seven. So, yeah, losing in the, um, you know, the third round with the Thunder Dust. So, I don't think they had a really good team as well. I mean, not as we know that what they can do, but I just don't think their team was that good to go and beat us. Let me just say that. But it's fine. We got the Thunder going over the chips. The Pacers had Halliburton and Grimes. They had a pretty good team. But, yeah. 2027, um, I don't really know how we're going to make this team up. That I mean, like, okay, what can we necessarily do? I really saw Hawkins had a pretty good average 20 points per game as a starting point guard, which I love. I'm moving to point guard. Um, Carrington average night. So I don't really want to trade Hawkins or Carrington. They're not even under contract anyway. Even Chenzo or Ian. So I mean, could I get we need it? Could get a shooting guard, but I have faith in Ian Jackson, bro. Um, 17.5 points per game. I don't want to trade Josh Hart. We know what he can do, but he's making 22 million dollars. So I mean, I don't think we really need to do anything. That's we could maybe throw Washington in there. Since he didn't really play, but at that, that point, man, I, I don't even know. I think we just run it back, bro, because we have no pick in the draft. So, just happened in 2020 um, player options. So, Carrington, Ian Jackson. Now we can see um, if we can maybe throw maybe Robinson in a trade. Okay, we can get two first, no off a salary. All right, so we can get all three. He's right, um, It's kind of off. But I don't really want to trade Mitchell Robinson. Look, he's fine for we have right now. I'll be looking to trade Washington though, and that's really it. So Washington and a first round pick from the Nets. Who wants to? They can get Dennis Schroeder. We only need a point guard. Um, I mean, we can get Donovan Klingon from the Cavaliers, which is interesting. Peyton Pritchard, Bryson Tucker, DJ Wagner, Reed Shepard, Jonathan Isaac. Um, I mean, do we really need? Okay, so we can get Isaiah Joe. I don't. I don't even know what I'm really looking for to be honest with you, but. I think the best option is to run it back and have development take over because that'll that definitely will. Um, yeah, I think that's really the best option we can do. So I mean, I guess yeah, qualifying offers. So let's head straight into free agency now. Just resign everybody. So Divincenzo, do we have any money though? We do not. So okay, so Divincenzo asking for a big contract. I'll, I'll resign. He might be a silent trade though. Releasing Allen, gonna bring you back. Jordan Hawkins, a big one. Man, we have to pay a lot of guys. David Arati, you guess, won't be back. Isaac, um, obviously, can come against qualifying offers. So we'll just resign three of these guys. And I'm pretty sure it'll be hard caps. We can't even, probably, uh, we can't offer Isaac and David Arati a contract. I'm probably just going to stay away from it. And then we can maybe look to see what we need. And if I don't do anything, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. So I'm actually stopping at the deadline here to maybe try and make a trade here. I'm offering PJ Washington, DiVincenzo. First round pick in two seconds to get Jalen Suggs. You may be wondering why you, I'm trading DiVincenzo right now. But we can get a 26-year-old Jalen Suggs averaging 20 points per game to be our new starting shooting guard. And he'll go up even more if he moves to the two. He's low at that point guard now. So I'm offering this. Hey, they agree. So we are getting Jalen Suggs, which is great. I don't expect him to agree to that right away. And I guess he hasn't gone, which is fun. He's still higher overall. Then what's the name? Or then yeah, DiVincenzo. So we should be good. I'm not trading Hart, obviously. So we now have Carrington, Suggs, Hart, Williamson, Kessler, Robinson, Hawkins, Jackson, and then Grease now. This should be a championship roster, but we'll see once we get to the playoffs, obviously. All right, so for the final seed, we finish off as the one seed over the Thunder again. We actually, I believe, won 71 games. So this team is insane. Really good team. I wouldn't see one reason why we shouldn't win, but we will see. We got Denver, so Jamal Murray, Chen Flower, Derrick Jones, Aaron Gordon, and Nicole Jokic. So against the Nuggets, we are going to go ahead and beat them at six to play San Antonio. So Isaiah Collier, Vassell, Bailey, Sohan, Wimby. This team also looks pretty good. Relatively the same team last year, though, but we will see if we can beat the San Antonio Spurs, and we are going to beat them. If I would imagine for Oklahoma City, so the Thunder 
got kind of, I mean, I'm not going to say I got worse, but they still have Shea and Chet, obviously. But the team around them, I don't think is that amazing. Edge call averaging about 17. You got all known uh, Lugan Dort averaging about, you know, 10 points per game. Um, Trey Lyles, as you can see, like, 7 points per game. Trey, I, they only usually have, like, somebody better there instead of Trey Lyles. That's really the reason why they're going to beat them. Jewel with they averaging 20 off the bench. Key, so well, I just think we're a better team, but we will see. Game 1, we're going to take. Game 2, leaving it up. Game 3, they take the 2-1 lead. Man, oh, man, we're going to lose a 5 to the... Thunder here, we I thought we'd be the better. T- we shrink our rotation down. We kick Grayson Allen. He's on fire, so I really don't want to. But no, no, we're not. you know what are we running? Are we running ten man or are we running? Um, yeah, I think we're running ten, right? Can I see? No, am I doing? Okay, here we go. We're running nine. So what I'm gonna do is just shrink the bench utilization down for that. That would be better. That's a solution problem. And then. Yeah, can we come back from 3-1 to one against the Thunder? Sadly, I, I think it might be over. Unless we can maybe win this game, then obviously win back in Oklahoma City. We'll have a game 7 here in Phoenix. That's my scenario here. So we win 112-143, to 143, get a, um, a butt little scoring from everybody. Now we got a game 6 in our end. So back in Oklahoma City, if we can win this game, that would be huge. We're going to come out hot. And it's looking like we're going to win this game and blow them out, dude. What a blowout, man. We absolutely destroyed them in the first half, at least. Um, they came back a little bit, actually a lot bit, 135 and 122. Yeah, 29, 27, and 20 from Jalen So Now we got a game seven, so game seven on our hands. Let's see if we can beat the Thunder back in Phoenix. So um, it's going to be a close game in the second quarter. They're going to have the lead heading into the third. And we came back all the way from 3 to 1 just to go out and get eliminated. Blown out actually in game 7. 140 to 112. Alright, Thunder just own us here for some reason. Do we run it back one more year? I guess we do. One last season. Alright, so for the final season, we got Minnesota around 1 with the number 1 seed again. Obviously, got to play Anthony Edwards. We're going to sweep him to play the Spurs. So Collier, Vassell, Bailey, and Wimbin Yama. Same team he played last year. That can spot, and we're going to lose in 5. Dude, I, I really want a championship in the video, but we're not gonna get it, man. I I traded our um our pick for um for obviously, uh Luke and Stord. I thought that would or Lou Dort or however you want to say his name. Um, I, I maybe thought that obviously that was gonna hurt the Thunder, but no, we we didn't even play him. We played um the Thunder actually added Gigi Jackson to our Ethan. So I don't know, dude. The Thunder does own us. Hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. I freaking hate the Thunder. But I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.